All right, it is Hello Again Wednesday, number 29, everyone. Hello Again Wednesday, 29. Man, I, I, it's like a, a, over half a year has gone through all these clips. You can check them out on, uh, on my Facebook page or even on uh, Culver City Church of God's uh, YouTube page. You can see them there also. And it is Hello Again Wednesday, Number 29, I hope everyone's having a great Wednesday. Um, I'm trying to, I'm actually squeezing this in. Why is I, why am I going to say that? Ready? Here, I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to rush through it. I'm going to say my bit. And then uh, uh, I have other things I have to do. And you'll understand why in just a moment. I hope everyone's feeling pretty good today. Um, but let's start this way. Have you ever felt overbooked? Kind of like an airline. Uh, it, it, you know what I'm talking about? You ever you ever get on a plane and the plane is just overbooked? Um, I flew not too long ago and uh, during during leaving LAX, LAX, you had to sit in the in the uh, the airport. Oh, oh, keep your distance, keep your distance. They had uh, seats all xed out, and then when you got on the plane, you were crushed, uh, just as usual, side by side, shoulder to shoulder with strangers. And uh, uh, definitely uh, booked. In fact, overbooked. And by overbooked, uh, if you've ever flown, they get on. They go, Poof. yes. If uh, uh, welcome to such and such airline, uh, we are overbooked, and so we have a free voucher of such and such. If you will uh, 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 take this voucher and fly with us later on. And by overbooked for me today, and the stat stress level of being overbooked. Um, it, it's like that understanding at the airport or you're on the air on the actual airplane and nobody wants to get up and leave their seat for the most part. There's such a long pause. Everyone is on their agenda. Everyone, some of them even have connecting flights they're thinking about. And so um, today it just feels like one of those days where no one wants to get up from their seat. No one wants to give it up for someone else. No one wants to make it another day or another flight for me. And so I am overbooked. Now, sometimes we, uh, uh, I, I, sometimes we over-exaggerate. We over-exaggerate the thought process of, uh, of being so busy sometimes. But today is not one of those days. Today is so busy for me from the beginning of, uh, uh, well, you know, yesterday, uh, maybe it started yesterday. Yesterday I had, uh, something I had to do at a specific time. Plus I was in the, I was at, oh, waiting for something to open up, um, to fix some bicycles for the kids. So we waited for the store to open. The store did not open till 11 a.m. I had a one o'clock thing. And so I'm going to tell you what I flat. I flashed back to my Toys R Us days, which was my very first job um, in Rockford, Illinois, was at Toys R Us when it first opened. The, I'm talking about the weekend that it opened. I had the job there. And one of my jobs was building bicycles. And so um, yesterday, I very quickly, before my my appointment that I had to get to at the church here, um, I was putting on brand new tires on on three bikes, fixing chains, fixing brakes, and and I just felt uh, I felt crushed almost. And and now today, uh, the day continued with. Uh, uh, walk, uh, kids wanted to ride their bikes to school today. So they rode their bikes. I walked with them. And then I had the last of my preoperative tests, um, was today where I had to go and get some, some x-rays done. And, uh, that was early this morning with the x-rays. And, uh, so now I've passed all my tests and now I'm just waiting for, 
of the next phase to take place, which will be coming up within the next few weeks where there'll be um, some more uh, times of not overbooking because it's a good thing. I'll have some, some surgeries done, but I have my tests done. And now that my tests are done, then I drive over here to, uh, as you can see, I'm in my office, but um, in just a little bit, I'm actually going to go over by the airport and I'm going to go to my physical therapy. And then the only reason I'm not, I'm doing physical therapy today is because today was the, and that time slot that's coming up was the only time slot, the only one time slot they had this week that I could take. And so I took it. And so, because it is uh, something that I need to do as I'm going through this process. And so I took the only day that was available, the only time that was available. And I, I took that, but once that physical therapy is over, I'm just kind of really now I'm then after physical therapy is coming over, then I come right back to my office over to here. And in my office, I will have another, I will have a meeting that I have to do. And in doing this meeting, it is on a committee that I sit on. Uh, here in central, uh, excuse me, in, in Southern California here. And so I have a meeting for that. And then on top of that, then I have a Bible study at 4 p.m. today that that I, I, I have to teach because um, that's the way the day is, is going. And so um, with all that taking place, just breathe. And so I say, uh, and, and you're going to understand that this thought process of just breathe in, in, in just a moment uh, uh, with uh, m at least with my thought process here, because I'm going to get to it. A lot of times on these bits, what do I do? I do those. Uh, um, I'm always talking music. Music is such a huge part. Um, and I tell to the truth, I can have comfort. I can lower my stress level with, with music, uh, be it the drums or the piano or the guitar or, or, or whatever, or just listening at a super high level uh, of music. And it just kind of helps me. But today there's songs that are popping into my head. Um, and, and, it, and one of them was, it was sticks too much time on my hands. And that, that song popped into my head. Like, why, why is that? Why is that song popping in my head? Because it is totally the opposite of of today. I do not have too much time on my uh, time on my hands. I am going crazy, like some of those lyrics are saying in that song. But man, I don't have too much time on my hands. Maybe more of another band that would lead more toward a thought process of of my chaotic day today, or or the overbooking of today, or anything like that. And the, the the band's Kansas and they wrote a song in 1977 way before the Seinfeld episodes and but I, I say that because the Seinfeld episodes one of the things that they prided themselves in especially George and Jerry was they had created a television series and it was a series a television show about nothing and so in 1977 Kansas wrote a song and it was about nothing, okay? But in that song, it was a song, I say it's about nothing, but it's about something, but it shows you nothing like this. I know I got you guys confused. Kansas wrote a song called Dust in the Wind. It was a song about dreams, ambitions, even actions that were taking place. But in the end, the thought process of what you're seeing was just everything is dust in the wind. So bear with me for a few, three, three lines in the song. It says what I close my eyes only for a moment and the moment's gone or same old song, just a drop of water in an endless sea. Talk about feeling small or how about this one? All we do crumbles to the ground, though we refuse to see it slips away and all your money won't another minute buy B U I you cannot buy another minute. And so, um, I'm like, uh, eh, that's kind of more like this overbooking. There is not an, I cannot buy enough time in the day. It'll always be 24 hours. And, uh, uh, you know what? Ah, just breathe. So today I'm going to do a couple different things or some things that are very similar. There's one thing I'm probably going to do different. 
a scripture always pops into my mind besides songs. And one that is so soothing. Uh, there's a lot of them, but I'm going to hold on to this one, right? First Peter chapter five, verse seven says this, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. How cool is that? To know that no matter what I'm going through, how overbooked I feel, cast my cares on God. He cares about me. It didn't go into thing anything like, oh, you know, it's going to take care of everything. Everything's going to be peaches and cream. It just, it does say he cares for me. And sometimes that's good enough to know that even in all this mess, somebody cares for you. I care. I mentioned Sticks, one of my favorite bands. I mentioned Kansas, a, a longstanding uh uh, these are all my uh, growing up with music uh, that I've always uh, enjoyed. Um, a song that would probably be a lot closer to today's overbooking, today's anxiety is um, in, so I don't forget, it's a song about stress and stuff, but at the same time, it's also encouraging. And here's who it is. There's a band called Triumph that I... Uh, uh, got into back in the late seventies or very, very early eighties. And I mean, way before 83 and that's how early of triumph. And they had written a song called fight the good fight. And just, uh, like I said, I'm going to click some of these songs in the comment for links, a great song with screaming guitar, high pitched, uh, voice just bellowing out some good lines. And so here's, I'm going to give you a few of them. The days grow shorter and the nights are getting long. Feels like we're running out of time. Every day it seems much harder telling right from wrong. You got to read between the lines. Don't get discouraged. Don't be afraid. We can make it through another day. The good book says it's better to give than to receive. I do my best to do my part. Keep up your spirit. Keep up your faith. I'm counting on you. You know what you got to do. Fight the good fight every moment, every minute, every day. Fight the good fight every moment. It's your only way. You think a little more money will buy your soul some rest? You'd better think of something else instead. Nothing is easy. Nothing good is free. But I can tell you where to start. Take a look inside your heart. There's an answer in your heart. Fight the good fight every moment, every minute, every day, every moment of your lifetime, every minute, every day. Fight the good fight every moment. Man. To me, uh, now, it, it, go ahead. If you're going to click on a link, that they, I would say click on that one, see what, what he's talking about on the guitars and stuff. One of my favorites. One of the things I'm going to do different before I'm about to be done here. One of the things I'm going to do different is um, I, 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 uh, I don't think I've ever prayed on, on these Hello Again Wednesday bits, but there is a prayer for stress. And so in just these short lines, it goes like this. Loving God, please grant me peace of mind and calm my troubled heart. Give me the strength and clarity of mind to find my purpose and walk the path you've laid out for me. I trust your love, God, and know that you will heal this stress just as the sun rises each day against the dark of night. And I love that. Just a little short prayer of and to put it in such a context of you know the sun always comes up splits open that darkest night god is always there two two more songs i'm not going to do any lyrics on on one of them two more songs um uh, is audio adrenaline if I, i'm always looking for comfort songs audio adrenaline was a, a a band really cool back in the early 2000s um and so uh they wrote a song called Rest Easy. Just a great, mellow, oh my goodness. Um, so it's going to go from screaming guitars to just this mellow Rest Easy. I, I encourage you to click on that link too that I'm going to put into the comments. But remember I started out the bit with Just Breathe um, was the phrase I was using. And that brought me to memory, um, besides all those old bands, it brought me to this uh, memory of 
uh, a gentleman by the name of Johnny Diaz who wrote a song called Breathe. And uh, I'm just going to do verse one and up to the chorus. And there's so much more. It is such a cool song. I'm going to have it in the comments too uh, to click. And it goes like this. Alarm clock screaming. Bare feet hit the floor. It's off to the races. Everybody out the door. I'm feeling like I'm falling behind. It's a crazy life. 90 miles an hour going fast as I can. Trying to push a little harder. Trying to get the upper hand. So much to do in so little time. It's a crazy life. When the stress is on the rise. Oh, excuse me. It's ready, set, go. It's another wild day. When the stress is on the rise in my heart, I feel you say, just say, breathe, just breathe. Come and rest at my feet and be, just be. Chaos calls, but all you really need is to just breathe. So like I always do on Wednesday, hello again, Wednesdays, uh, this one's no different. I got a question. What is your most chaotic day? What is your most stressful day? What do you, kind of a day do you have? Do you, you just feel like you are overbooked, kind of like on that airline? The question, though, is this, beyond those you can say, hey, I got this, 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 this is chaotic. This is stressful. This is what's overbooking. My big question to those que- that, that question would be, uh, what do you do or what are you doing? So you might be going through it right now too. What do you do or what are you doing to get through? Just breathe. Hey, it is Wednesday, 4 o'clock this afternoon Pacific time is our Bible study. It's been that way for a long time. We're going to have our Bible study at, at 4 p.m. Uh, via um, downstairs, live and in person, and via Zoom. The only thing about this Zoom, it is another thing that's happening. Uh, Pastor Mark, he is always the one that has been leading our Bible study. He's done, uh, led us, he's led us through um Matthew, uh, Genesis and Matthew, and now he's in the book of Exodus, except for tonight, this afternoon, uh, Pastor Mark is celebrating with his, uh, with students. Um, he is, a, he retired this year from teaching, but, um, uh, he is, uh, just a guest, um, along with students that were in his classes the first half of this year before he retired. And so he is celebrating with the class of 2021 uh, down at his high school. Um, And so he is going to be there. So that means you got me. I'm the one that's doing the Bible study. I will hook you up. It is not that Zoom link that he has. Um, uh, They do so well with heading all that stuff up. He called me last night. And so this is me. I'm sending out mine if you want it. If you want to hook up on a Zoom and check us out. Um, at our Bible study. We're in Exodus chapter 11, I think it is. And if you can't, make sure you hook up with the church near you. Go to a small group, a growth group, a cell group. Hang out with friends at that place and just enjoy. You know what? Maybe that's the place where you won't feel overbooked, you won't feel stressful, or if anything, boy, there's going to be someone there to pray for you. And so, hey, it is so good having you with me on this Hello Again Wednesday. This is Hello Again Wednesday number 29, and I will see you. I got to get it ready. I will see you next week. <laughs>